before we get into the review of the Albert sneakers, I just want to say that this review is just me presenting my experiences. I'm not here to try to convince you or persuade you to buy anything. In fact, that would be the complete opposite of my goal of this channel, which is to try to promote sustainability and minimalism. So anyways, let's get on into it with this very old footage from about two and a half years ago. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video about shoes. Exciting, exciting. Yes, I know. I'm a minimalist, so what am I doing buying things? Well, first of all, this is a Christmas present, so don't even come at me like that. Also, what am I supposed to do? Run around without any shoes on? That may work for some people, but it does not work for me. So instead of just going and buying the first set of tennis shoes or trainers or sport shoes or whatever you call them, um, I did my research into the ones that I wanted, and I finally settled on these, which are the Allbirds Wool Runners. The reason why I went for these is because the company is super responsible with their resources. The shoes are primarily made out of wool, which is a sustainable source. All of their packaging is very minimal. I have their website linked down below, but they're just really good about their energy consumption and the sources that they use, and they actually have fair labor which is amazing so this is what they came in this is the box they were shipped in the only plastic bit were two of these little white things used to keep this actually closed so let's go ahead and open this each shoe has its own little box and it says we are all birds so hey there's the name i really like the design of this it's super simple when you open each of the boxes there is a shoe in each of them and there's a little bit of literature about the company on the inside of each of the boxes uh, this one just says that they were designed in New Zealand from Superfine Merino Wool from New Zealand. Um, they were woven in Italy and assembled in Korea. All three areas have um, good labor laws, so I really support that. Also, this box is 100% recyclable. It is printed with soy-based inks, and it is on 95% post-consumer recycled cardboard. Um, as you can tell, there's really not that much packaging that comes with any of these. This actually uses about 40% of the standard amount of packaging or 40% less, I don't remember exactly which. So it just comes with these little things that kind of keep them in place. And then on the interior of the shoe, there is a mold to keep the shape. And then here over on this lip, it just basically says what it is. You don't have to wear socks with it, even though I am going to wear socks with it. Um, it's more for seeing the world and not running marathons. Uh, you can machine wash these on the gentle cycle and air dry. Also, it says that if you're not completely satisfied with these, you can return them within 30 days and get your money back. These are the shoes themselves. I got them in all black. These are the Women's Wool Runner and mine are size seven. These don't have half sizes. So if you're gonna get these, I'd say size up to be on the safe side. Here's a closer look at the shoe. The exterior is completely made out of merino wool. The interior is lined with merino as well. The insole is highly padded and it's made out of a castor bean oil based polyurethane, which is a renewable raw material. The sole is a low density and lightweight foam rubber combination and you can tell by the treads on these that there's not going to be a lot of traction so that's why they're more recommended for exploring opposed to running. I really appreciate the clean design. There's not any big markings announcing, oh I have a pair of Nikes or blah blah blah. I really like that. The only way that you're able to really tell what they are is that you have this little bit right here on the heel. Um, this little pull tab up here has the Allbirds super simple looking um, logo and there's also another one of those tabs right here on the tongue. These shoes seem to have a pretty good amount of flex to them but we're only going to be able to tell how they wear and how they hold up if we do a wear test which we are going to do right now. Well, that wear test turned out to be about two years long, and since I've given these shoes such a rigorous testing, I think it's okay for me to talk about them now. Before I show you guys what they look like with about two years of near constant daily wear, I want to get into the positives of the shoes themselves. The first positive I have on these is that these were hands down the most comfortable shoes to break in. The only discomfort that I experienced was a little bit of rubbing on the back of the ankle which totally could have been remedied by wearing proper socks with the shoes. These shoes are also super lightweight. That paired with how comfortable they are basically reduced my almost constant daily foot fatigue after wearing shoes down to like nil. 
So that was pretty cool. As you can see in the first half of this video, I was very pleased with the fact that the packaging and also the materials of the shoes themselves are very green. I think it's really, really important, especially in this day and age for any company that manufactures anything to be as responsible as possible with their materials. As for the negatives, the tread on that is very slippery. I don't recommend hiking in them in the mud. I don't recommend them for kitchen work. I really wish that the tread was a bit more rugged because I feel like that could take the shoe into so many different applications instead of just being like a casual wear about town shoe. The only other negative that I have is that I wish that the upper material that they used was a bit more rugged because how fine the merino wool is, the uppers wore out super, super quickly. I mean, in comparison with the rest of the shoe. Normally I have an issue with the soles itself being worn down before the uppers have a problem, but like I said, the merino wool in here is pretty fine. So I had issues with the structure in the back of the heel kind of poking through at the end. Um, I have two holes where my toenails actually bore through the material after two years of constant use. And I also have a small section in one of them where I would have to go underneath my clutch pedal and flip it up. <laughs> so it wore a hole in there as well. I do have one more negative, but it's more of a personal negative than something that's wrong with the shoe. And that is the price point, which is $95. And looking at the scheme of things and how expensive sneakers can be today, it's really not that much, but for someone that is earning minimum wage in modern day America and is underemployed, that's a huge chunk of my life to pay for something like that. So I wish that they were a lot more accessible in terms of their price point, but you know, that's just the way things go. I'm also trying really hard to be as sustainable as possible with my shopping choices, and that means that I try to stick to thrifting as much as possible. And while this would be a really good option if I were to have to buy something firsthand just because of how conscious and sustainable the materials are, it's still not as good as just buying something that's already made. That being said, I would 100% buy these if I found them on someone's Depop shop or if I found them in a thrift store or something like that because I really, really like these shoes. I just can't afford them and there's better options for my lifestyle out there than going and buying them brand new again. I definitely say that the pros outweigh the cons with these specific shoes. If you've been curious about them or mulling over whether or not you want to buy them, I hope that my experiences have been helpful in helping you make your decision. Well, that's all folks. Bye. <laughs>